All right, good morning, everybody. It is 8.51, August 27th. This thing's going to keep beeping until I put my seatbelt on. Hopefully it won't start beeping again. All right, woke up this morning. Just found out. They said the blue and white was free parking, but it's now they're saying it's paid parking out on the street. Now I gotta go to the post office and pay them. Let me tell you something, man. Here, there's no place you can park a vehicle um, without paying. It's gonna cost you. The way it's just the way it is. They showed me an area where it is free, but only like maybe 12 cars at the most, 10 or 12 can park. And you know, big hotel, forget it. Forget it, okay? I'm not even gonna try to get in there. You'd have to sit out there and wait. Anyhow, you guys, I've got some scripture here. Listen, we know the time that we're in. You know, it's just what it is. We're living in the uh, days of iniquity, the days of wickedness, the days where I went into the hotel and they're like, yeah, they know. No matter what you do, it's all about merchandise. <laughs> I got to try to get in touch with the uh, insurance company today. And trying to call them even is, is difficult, especially when you're in another country. And uh, the phones don't work right. It's crazy. Anyhow, here we go, you guys. Titus chapter 1, verse 14. Not giving heed to Jewish fables, okay? It's not just Jewish fables. You got any kind of fables today. You got people, uh, unsound doctrine is being taught today. That's what and it also says. Uh, scripture is not give, meant for man's interpretation of it. And that is what they're doing today. Giving you clearly their interpretation of it. So, you know, take scripture and read it for what it says. Yeah, you guys, we didn't have our eyes open to continue doing the things we once did that we're now ashamed of, you know? And when we had our eyes open, that was grace, okay? By grace, we had our eyes open. Excuse me. I gotta try to move this just in case so I don't not illegally park some kind of way here. Okay. Nobody could say nothing. Unless these people from behind may need to get out, but I don't, I'm not sure. Anyhow. Here we go. Okay, you guys. So we know Jewish fables, okay? They... They've been doing anything and everything they can do to come against what Christ did. Okay? And don't think that they stopped there. They didn't. That's why they got the Noah Hyde Law, where if you worship any anybody like Jesus Christ outside of... See, they didn't believe Jesus Christ then. Okay? And they we went to Noah with everything. Um, and Jesus said, they, Noah wrote about me. When he said, Lord, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Okay. Anyhow. First Timothy chapter one, four through five. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith so do I gotta go try to find this post office after I get done here and then try to find parking to park someplace by there <laughs> I guess they must make a fortune with uh, parking here. You know, everything is built. I mean, why would you build hotels everywhere here but no place to park? 
And then any place on the street that you do find a park, it's not free. You know? 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. It's kind of like when you get these cell phones, they say unlimited data. But when you you find out that after you use so much data, it slows down to where it's off more than it is on. And they say, well, it still works. It's just not as unlimited as it was. You guys, this place, has, it's corrupt. We've reached the point where, and this is where you want to, we got to have patience through it. We just recognize it for what it is. And uh, it's like it says, the wicked will continue to do wicked. And none of the wicked will understand. They've just gone, they've, they've went as far as they could go to make merchandise of you. And now they got to just come out and just lie is what they're doing. You know, because they've done, they've taken it to the limit. Okay, we're at that point now where they've, they went to the extremes. That's why I say they promise you liberty, but they themselves are the servants of corruption. Even him who's coming is after the work of Satan. Second Thessalonians. Excuse me. Again. 